Mark Jabin here, Medical Director for the Haywood County Health Department, and let's talk about this pandemic. In today's video, it's time for the weekly numbers, and here's the summary. In Haywood County, the plateau that we were afraid of last week has actually come and gone, and we're lower again, now back in the orange. So as you can see here, uh, cases continue to drop in the United States. Last week we saw 13 states in the red, this week only 12. And nearly all states are continuing to drop in terms of their new case counts, some faster than others, accounting for the changes in rank. You can see here Tennessee continuing its downward trend all the way down to 20.5 and in the orange now. Georgia, on the other hand, with a bump up that put them back in the red uh, after getting into the orange last week. Actually, now they have the fourth highest rate uh, in the nation. And you can see how much more red there is in the state since just last week. South Carolina continues to decrease their cases, now down to 43, and they've dropped to second highest rate in the nation behind Rhode Island, which is dropping also, but at a slower pace. North Carolina dropping again, but still in the red, uh, 11th highest rate in the country. Quite a bit more orange in the map, especially in the middle of the state now. Uh, don't get me wrong, the trend is favorable, improved again this week, but still too high. And just as important, uh, in the state of North Carolina, cases, hospitalizations, and deaths all continue a fairly steep downward trend. Across western North Carolina, again, no one in the yellow, but look at so many now in the orange compared to even last week. For Jackson County, the abrupt uptick they saw at the end of last week was actually real, but it was caused by a one-time reporting of cases from a nursing home outbreak that actually had stretched over several weeks. So there was not really such an abrupt change. Uh, it got as high as 44 for Jackson County, uh, but by week in, they're on their way down and, and just above the red uh, threshold of 25 at this time. Uh, Henderson County had dropped into the orange just at the end of last week, but now it's back up in the red. And Buncombe maintains just above the red threshold. But look at everyone else, well below red and all in the orange. And most importantly, trending well towards the yellow, less than 10, which is where, where we really need to be. Graham moved back from yellow back into the orange, but only based on one additional case per day average. Uh, that's the effect of being a small population county. So there wasn't really a big change there either. Test positivity. Everyone is down again this week, except for Jackson and Madison, but everyone is trending toward that important 5% threshold. Haywood County, total for the pandemic, now at 3,841 as of yesterday. That's an increase of 74 from seven days prior. And as noted, we have now dropped out of the red, first time in many months, and well down into the orange range. And note that the curve has flattened considerably, looking like the late summer, early fall again. Note here that cases are headed lower after the third plateau uh, in our downward trend. Here is the week over week change, uh, which also mirrors the same, uh, same downward trend. Officially now in Haywood County, there are 89 deaths throughout the pandemic. Uh, Haywood Regional Medical Center is down to three COVID related admissions this weekend. And lest you forget, in mid-January, it had reached a peak of 29. So this is all good news. Uh, the past week, we saw in Haywood County an average increase of 10 to 11 new cases a day. And recall the goal is less than six, preferably one or two new cases a day on average. And given where we were six weeks ago, at 50 or 60 new cases a day, this has been the kind of dramatic drop we needed to see. As we continue to vaccinate people who want the protection for themselves and those close to them, let's not forget what we learned from the holidays at the beginning of this year. Gatherings are a high-risk event still, especially if people have symptoms and don't stay away, or overlook a close contact exposure and do not quarantine to protect those they gather with. And if everyone present does not distance, limit the time around others, or wear a face covering, well, you can see what, where that leads to. And although vaccinations are proceeding well, only about 20% of Haywood County have been vaccinated so far. Not yet enough here or anywhere else, really, uh, to let down on the protective public health measures. So we've made such progress. Let's not lose that. Easter holidays and school spring break are not far away. And the question is, if you must gather, will you do your part to gather as safely as we know it can be done? No one wants a repeat of this winter. But with all the unknowns surrounding the variants out there, it is certainly possible, unless each and every one of us remains vigilant. 
So for the latest update on vaccine information in Haywood County, look for the regular Friday update at haywoodcountync.gov and look under the coronavirus info. And be aware that not all the upcoming vaccine clinics will be where they have been held so far at the Smoky Mountain Event, Event Center or the old fairgrounds. So please pay attention to the location when you get called for an appointment. So be well and be careful, especially right now.